Hello and welcome to My Cupcake Addiction where today we're going to be making this adorable Barbie ballerina cake. Make sure that you stay tuned, I will also be showing you how to make these gorgeous little ballerina cupcakes and I will link to those in the description box below. The things that you'll need for today's tutorial, I've got a 10 inch cake board on a cake decorating turntable and some raspberry jam. I'm using some of our perfectly pipeable strawberry frosting today, so the recipe for that strawberry frosting is available in the Cupcake Addiction recipe book which I'll link to in the description box below. I've got a long serrated knife and an offset spatula, a spoon, I've got a ballerina Barbie doll who I have morbidly pulled apart. So I've taken off her legs and I've wrapped the base of her torso and the tops of her legs where all of her joints are in cling film or plastic wrap so that nothing gets into our cake. I've got a circle cutter, a sharp knife, I've got some of that frosting in a disposable piping bag today and I've paired that with a Wilton 406 petal piping tip. So this is a rose petal piping tip and there are a ton of different sizes in these. It doesn't really matter what size you use. I also have two seven inch by one inch cooked cooled vanilla cakes. You can use any flavor. You can use one of the recipes from my Cupcake Addiction recipe book or your favorite recipe from home. The first thing you want to do is you want to take those vanilla cakes and I like to sit them side by side with that serrated edge knife. I slide straight across the two so they're about the same size and just take that rounded top off. Now you want to cut your two tiers in half. So you end up with sort of like four layers. We're going to make like a Victorian sponge sort of a style of cake. Take a little bit of that pink frosting now and place it towards the back of your cake board to act like a glue and then put down one of your first layers of cake. Now I'm putting that on the back of the board because we want to have plenty of room for Barbie's legs to come out on the front of the board without overhanging. Take that pink frosting all the way out to the edges and make these layers really, really thin because you don't want too much frosting. And then I chose to add a spoonful of raspberry jam in between each of my layers to keep that cake really nice and moist and give it another hit of flavor. Repeat that for all of your layers and when you get to the top layer, don't put jam on this. You just want the strawberry frosting or your vanilla pink frosting. Now you want to grab your offset spatula. So with this, we're kind of creating a crumb coat, but you'll notice I sort of move the frosting back and forward. So it goes into all of the creases of that cake and gives us a really nice smooth finish. And then spend a bit of time just leveling off the top so it's really nice and flat. All right, so for our tutu effect, you want to take that piping tip and you want the skinny edge or the narrow edge to be facing back towards your body as you're piping, so back towards you. This affects how your ruffles are going to look. So a simple ruffle technique for all of your cakes, you basically just want to start squeezing out that frosting and I'm really just doing tiny movements with my wrist back and forward and I'm sort of lifting the nozzle off the cake as I'm doing that. This is a beautiful technique and it's not overly hard, but I do recommend if you're doing it for the first time, just practice it on a board, on your bench or on a plate, just so that you can sort of get the rhythm of that wrist movement. Repeat that technique all the way around the sides of your cake, but don't go onto the top of it just yet. And by now, your little ballerina Barbie cake should be looking something like this. Take your Barbie's legs now and you want to position them at the front of the board. And then I'm just using them sort of as a bit of a template so I can use my really sharp knife to create almost like a little tunnel shape and a bit of a gouged hole where her legs can go. Now you want these legs to go quite far into the cake, almost to the knee or just above the knee because her legs are impossibly long and it looks a bit silly if they're hanging too far over the board. As with all non-edible components on your cake, it is your responsibility as the decorator to let people know that this is not an edible doll, she is a plastic doll and also to make sure people know about those little pieces of cling wrap that are protecting her joints from falling into the cake to make sure they don't get left in the cake when it's served. Take your piping tip now and you just want to fill in the gaps around her legs so you're kind of like frosting her legs into the cake. Perfect. Now you want to take your round circle cutter and right in the center of the cake, you're just going to cut through that top layer of our four layers of sponge cake and it should just lift out. Take that out and just use your piping tip to frost a bit of a bed in the center, a bit of a well where your Barbie doll is going to go. It just sort of sticks her in place. Pop her in and use your offset spatula just to frost her in place nice and neatly, keeping that top as flat as you can. And I just use my finger just to neaten off around her bodice. I should also mention here, if you can find the dolls that have the plastic clothing rather than the fabric clothing, you save yourself a ton of work. So when you're choosing your doll, try and find always for doll cakes, ones that are wearing plastic clothing. Now the ruffle on the top, we're gonna to start at the outside and it's a very, very similar technique, but rather than going sort of up and down on the sides of the cake, you're moving back and forth in a rounded circle around the outer edges. So you can see my technique here, I'm really just flicking my wrist ever so slightly and letting that frosting 
kind of fall out in little waves or little ripples. When you do the second layer of frosting, you wanna make sure that it overlaps that first layer because that's what gives you that kind of really full tutu effect. And you wanna continue those layers in, overlapping each one until you reach right inside and you're ruffling around her tiny little waist. So our ballerina Barbie's nearly ready to go, but I'm a bit of a sucker for the details. So I like to just take that piping bag and having it on its side, really close to the board, I'm just rippling it back and forward to create a very small ruffle around the bottom just to neaten it up. That completes your gorgeous ballerina Barbie cake. You can see how gorgeous it looks cut there. Sure to please any ballerina. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for Friday's video where I'll be showing you how to make those adorable ballerina cupcakes. And as always, thanks very much for tuning in to My Cupcake Addiction.